Hey, Pete. This station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now, it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. There. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. I need to be ready for a sudden change. One down, but I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Got that one fixed. Invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um... Well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever melt. Okay, by law they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius's lab to combine everything. 
I'd just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. analyzes hazardous chemicals, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow off half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it.
Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thieves hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. It won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in the. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. That one. <coughs> this can't be good for me. <coughs> nice. <coughs> Just need a few more samples. Oh, oh, oh that one smells. more. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> One more should do it. <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't die. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then.
One down. That's a keeper. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa, the pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Better than duct tape. Got it. All fixed. Et voila. Just in time. Nailed it. Got it. This last one. But those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Other heroes fight crime and fix your shower. And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped the public utility meltdown.
this lab monitors the health of marine life. And we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... They are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water. And fast, before people start getting sick. First step, I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. about to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish, which is good. There's not much for me to swing from further out on the water currents. There's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. Ah. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. All clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man, water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. Clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Definitely a target-rich environment. I always knew 
someday they'd weaponize tackiness? Sign painting. Come on. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so. I bet this station's in the clear. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Okay, now to find another link in the array. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? It looked like DNA sequencing, but... That seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Hmm. Looks good. Let's see. This is for all the marbles. It's working! Everything's stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. <laughs> 